In this video, we want to see how we can find second order derivative of parametric equations. Now, in the previous videos, I did a video where I discussed uh, parametric equations. So, a parametric equation or parametric equations are simple equations where we have two variables. For instance, here we have x and y, which are expressed into another variable, theta. It can be theta, it can be t, provided there are three variables, then we we have to use what we call parametric differentiation. So in this case, we are going to use parametric differentiation, okay? Because we have y and x, which are presented in terms of, of a third parameter, theta. Now, if you want to find dy over dx or the second derivative in b, we have to use what we call parametric differentiation. So parametric equations normally we have different curves that are presented as parametric uh, equations. One of them is a cycloid. A cycloid looks like this one. It moves like this. So this curve is what we call a cycloid. Now in A, we want to find dy over dx. Now from the previous videos we discussed that dy over dx of parametric equations is equal to dy with respect to theta divided by dx with respect to theta. So we need to find dy d theta, then we find dx over d theta, then we divide them. That way we will be able to find change in y over change in x. Remember, uh, y is expressed as a function of theta and x is expressed as a function of theta so every time theta changes there will be a change in x and a change in y so we can find change in y over change in x which can be evaluated as that so what we need to do is now find dy over d theta and find dx over d theta then we divide them so now, I'll start with what we have on top here. We have uh, dy over d theta. So we have to find this. But I know that y is equal to, I can open the brackets for his uh, calculation. Okay, now dy over d theta is equal to, when we differentiate this one, it's a constant. Then here we are going to have minus 2, then we differentiate this one. So when we try to differentiate this one, we get minus sine theta. Again, in the previous videos, I discussed how you can find the derivative of uh, cos theta and sine theta. So this will be 2, negative and negative positive, 2 sine theta. So this will be our dy over d theta. Now we come to what we have down here. We have to calculate dx over d theta. Now our x is that one. x is equal to 2 theta minus sine theta. Again, I can open the brackets for his calculation. This will be 2, two theta minus 2 sine theta. So now dx over d theta, which is the derivative of this one with respect to theta. Here, if we differentiate with respect to theta, we get 2 minus, here we are going to get 2 cos theta. So now we are going to divide this. Okay, so I, I will need this one, so I can write it somewhere here. I will need it somewhere, so I can write it here. Dy, uh, dx over d theta is equal to 2 okay, minus 2 cos theta. Now we come to what we are looking for, dy over dx. So we know that dy over dx is equal to dy with respect to theta over d of x with respect to theta. So what we are going to have is 
what we have on top is this and what we have down is this we're going to have 2 sine theta divided by 2 minus 2 cos theta okay now here it means we've calculated the first derivative okay so this will be our first derivative now once we find the first derivative we go to b which is to find the second derivative or the second order uh, differentiation of parametric equations okay so d2 of y with respect to uh, d x times x it means the second order derivative so we have to 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 do the second order derivative in b and d squared of y over dx squared is equal to so whenever you are differentiating parametric equations and you are looking for the second order derivative this is the formula it will be d with respect to theta of dy over dx divided by dx over d theta okay so what we have we have to differentiate with respect to theta then we divide with dx over d theta this is the reason why i'm keeping this one because i have to come and divide it here so we differentiate what we have here with respect to theta now when you look at this this is a fraction it's a quotient so we are going to use quotient rule so if you have to use quotient rule you identify u and v so the numerator is u the denominator is v okay now I have to find u prime and v prime. Okay, so I'm um, looking for this dy over dx. This is equal to v du minus u dv over v squared. We have to find u prime and v prime because we have u and v so that we can come and use them in the formula so we can, we can do it here u prime will be equal to when we try to differentiate this one we get 2 cos theta when we try to differentiate v we are going to get plus 2 sine theta now I have to use them here so this will be equal to Okay, so V is what we have here, 2 minus 2 cos theta multiplied by U prime. U prime is 2 cos theta minus, what is our U? Our U is this one, 2 sine theta multiplied by V prime. V prime is... 2 sine theta but everything divided by v squared our v is this one so it will be 2 minus 2 cos theta uh, squared okay now we have this which we have here we have this which is what we have down here so now we have to come and multiply I mean divide with dx over d theta which is here now when we are dividing when we are dividing it's the same as we multiply so we are going to multiply with the reciprocal okay here we have this so if we try to divide it here this will be the same as over one so we are going to try and see how we can multiply it because we are dividing d squared y over dx is equal to so now it is d theta dy over dx over d x d theta now we need to to divide this thing which is here we divide with this what you're going to have is can simplify that 2 minus 2 cos theta this is multiplying with 2 cos theta minus 
this will be 4 sine squared theta over 2 minus 2 cos theta and here I can square but I have to divide with this 2 minus 2 cos theta okay so this will be equal to when to write this to be 2 minus 2 cos theta 2 cos theta minus 4 sine squared theta over this cos and this is 2 2 minus 2 cos theta squared but here we are dividing so this is the same as over 1 so when we try to to multiply it it will be the reciprocal okay it will be the reciprocal so because i don't have enough space there i can come and multiply it here i'm talking about what we have here we can multiply it so that it becomes the reciprocal it will be 1 over 2 minus 2 cos theta now this and that will make three of those so this will be equal to okay when you look at this okay when you look at this you can't simplify there because this is one thing so you can't simplify so what you're going to have is two minus two cos theta two cos theta minus four sine squared theta over 2 minus 2 cos theta but these are 2 so with that one they are going to be 3 and this will be the second order derivative so every time you have to find the second order derivative this is the formula that you are going to use so for this and more videos subscribe to my youtube channel and thank you very much for watching